I am a genealogist. I've been doing genealogy for a little over 25 years. And over those 25 years, I've gotten my family tree, as of yesterday, up to 35,000 people. Very exciting. Um, now, some of this was easy because I do have a lot of ancestors who were colonial, so there's a lot of information on them. My husband also has colonial ancestors, and we're actually 26th cousins. Long story, but that's okay. Um, in any case, as you can tell from the scarf, we're in the holiday season. And for genealogists, this is one of the most wonderful times of the year because Everything related to genealogy is on sale. That includes DNA. Now, a lot of you kids out there might be seeing all these ads, DNA, and then you go and everything's on sale. It's a wonderful gift. Oh my God, oh my God. And it is. It is a wonderful thing. I love it so much. I've made connections. I made a connection with someone in friggin' Poland, okay? Researching my father's family total brick wall because of World War II and now I have a freaking second cousin in Poland how nifty is that anywho like I was trying to say those of you who are new to genealogy or are considering it or seeing these ads and you're probably super super tempted I'm going to do it I'm going to get DNA I just want to give you a heads up when you do your DNA it is not going to open up this magical world of cousins and, and people you didn't know you had. It's not going to populate a family tree for you. Um, it's going to give you hints. It'll, of course, give you your ethnicity. Um, and there may be a surprise here and there. Who knows? Um, but it is not going to sit there and suddenly create a tree for you and give you lists of here's all your cousins and everything else. My suggestion, along with getting it, and, and you know what, honestly, if you're serious about doing genealogy and you're serious about doing your DNA, take advantage of the sale and get the kit or two or whatever it is. You don't have to use it right away. I mean, you can if you want. But in the meantime, you really should start a family tree. Now, there are websites where you could start a family tree for no cost. FamilySearch.org, I will leave the link below. Has, is free. All their resources are free. Um, I think my heritage, you can start a family tree. And then I think if you want to do extra things that cost some money, that's really good. If most of your ancestors are in Europe, for example, my Polish cousin, I found him through my heritage. I did not find him through ancestry.com, but ancestry.com has tons of resources. It is wonderful. It's expensive. But if you have an AARP membership, you get a big fat 30% discount, which since I'm now 50, uh, um, what you can do is start with the 1950 census. If your ancestors, if you know of your ancestors and they were in America in 1950 and the 1950 census is free from the National Archives, I believe it is, FamilySearch.org, it is free. Um, I believe the 1940 census is free all over the place as well. Actually, all the censuses are free on Family Search. Start with the 1950 census and work backwards, okay? When you do it, make sure you pay attention. And this is my advice for beginners. Pay attention to all, um, you find them on the census, pay attention to all your neighbors. You'll find all kinds of cousins and in-laws you don't know because especially back then people were still living in family groups in neighborhoods So it's really cool um, And that's just my quick advice to you if you're starting genealogy um, If you're thinking about giving it as a gift um, You know what I have to say and I don't understand this and it baffles me not everybody's into family history Which is super weird I mean, I know people who've done their DNA, never started a family tree. It baffles me. I just don't understand. It boggles the mind. But then again, I'm doing genealogy every single day. And other people may have better things to do. And some people, honestly, just don't care. Be prepared for the fact that some people just don't care. Um, you will hit brick walls. 
it is not going to be like on the commercial where, you know, you click a leaf and next thing you know, blah, 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 all these things are happening. That's not how it works. And if you think that the, a name in your family, you know, like, you know, Imogene, you know, Gladiola Rosenbaum is a weird name, I guarantee you it's not. I guarantee you, you're going to find another woman with the same damn name who is close in age to your great-great-grandma who lives in almost the same neighborhood and you're going to confuse them. So, um, that being said, as a family history buff, I encourage you to do it. Um, you may or may not find all kinds of interesting things. You'll find some good things. You'll find some bad things. And you know what? If you find bad things, it's not about you, okay? It's not a reflection on you if you have some, you know, eighth cousin who is a crazy arsonist. It has nothing to do with you. It's just another story. It's just another fun branch on the tree, okay? Um, and that's what I have to say about that. So, I'm not being sponsored by any of these people. Um, I'm not getting any money off of any of this. It's just that I really, really love genealogy. And um, as I said, I have colonial ancestry and so does my husband. Um, so if you have any colonial ancestry, drop comments and heck, maybe we're cousins. How cool would that be? So enjoy your holidays and um, I don't know. I'll see you when I see you.